Hey again guys and welcome back. I hope you can hear the excitement in my voice because I have a super special box here. So I have a special kind of problem with my workspace which I will explain shortly um, and I needed some products and so I emailed the company who makes these products and they were so kind as to just send me what I asked for instead of like offering me a discount or whatever. And uh, let me be clear, they didn't even say I had to be nice to them. They didn't say I had to favorably review them. They didn't say um, that they were gonna, you know, that they're gonna check all my work before I send it out. Um, they are just super nice. And all of these products here come from a personal recommendation from another maker who uses these things every single day so here it goes i have not opened this yet i am excited to see oh yes so here's the company right there pluggable so pluggable um if you are ever looking for usb devices pluggable is who you need to check out um, if you're tired of cheap products that only work sometimes like I am right now you need to check out their stuff because this is incredible um, I already have confidence that this will work just fine because another maker has used uh, I th you know most if not all of their product range so first of all a 32 foot USB 3.0 extension a USB 3.0 10 port hub with uh, a power supply, so it's a powered hub. Plus, there's smart charging, all sorts of stuff that is cool about this, which we're gonna take a look at shortly. A SD card reader. Again, USB 3, very important. And this one here, a digital microscope. So I'm like, really excited to try this out and give you guys a closer look on stuff like my soldering. So let's look at each of these products individually and go from there. So first one up is this USB hub and we'll get to the problem that I'm solving in just a moment. But basically this guy here will be going up against my current USB hub, which is this anchor unit. And I don't have any problems with this anchor unit aside from random disconnects, but it's very rare. Um, but this is a data hub. It is not powered. And you know, to get a powered hub from Anchor would have been uh, nearly the same price as Pluggable. And Pluggable, I hear, is just industry standard for being the most solid. So here's the hub, really nice form factor. And so this guy has actually high current charging on a couple of the ports. Yeah, I know, I'm doing a terrible peel here, that's okay. You'll have to you'll have to deal with it. And so, yeah, this guy here, so it plugs in via USB 3 type B, what is that? The, it's a printer port with the extra thing connected on top. USB 3.0 ports out, DC 12 volt adapter, USB 3.0 uh, and charging. So these actually lift up so you can have your, your cables coming out at a nice angle and you have all these ports on the front. This thing is going to be awesome. So here is that USB 3 connection to plug in. That's great. Uh, then we've got the power for the power supply and then this chonker. Look at this power supply. So it is uh, 12 volts, 4.16 amps. That's incredible. I'm, I'm really happy with this because I'll be able to charge phones or charge devices, even uh, get power supplied to some devices, some projects with this guy. And just you wait until you see where it's going to go. So that's gonna be pretty awesome. Let's go to the next one. Next up, a USB 3.0 card reader. And um, these things are important because today's cards have actually a little uh, number on them that specifies their speed, but it's useless if you use a card reader like this with USB 
2.0. So you're not actually reaching the full speed of your cards. So I actually max out most of my transfers at about 20 to 22 uh, megabytes per second. And I'm hoping I get faster speeds with this one. Also with this guy, I had to go through and do a lot of um, messing around with the OS because sometimes this wouldn't get recognized. So I had to plug on plug, restart the computer. I got to the point where I permanently assigned this thing a drive letter. And so far it's only disconnected once on me. That's good. But uh, these guys were actually responsible for corrupting some SD cards. So that's not good. I want an upgrade and here it is. So that takes the micro SD, takes the regular SD and an MS slash MSXC. So it's all I need. I don't use compact flash. Does this one do compact flash? No, this one doesn't even do compact flash. So there we go. So not necessary. This thing here, I'm hoping I'll get the full speeds out of it. And you better believe that I'll be testing the speeds of my SD cards with this guy. Now that's another thing. I couldn't actually test the speeds of my SD cards that I got from Amazon because Amazon has um, had a history of fraudulent SD cards being sold there. I can't check the speeds because I can only interface at 2.0 speeds. Now, 3.0, I should be good to go. Let's try the next one. Next one up is this 32 foot um, 3.0 active extension cable with power adapter. So I'm not sure if you know this, but if you want to run a USB along a long length, you actually need an active cable, not a passive cable. So they are quite a bit more expensive. Um, and the reason for that is your data transmission only has a certain length it can go before you start losing packets. So here is a 3.0 USB extension, which should give us uh, faster speeds than USB 2.0 and over 32 feet. And I'll show you why I need that momentarily. But yeah, you have this power adapter here and you plug it into the end. I'm guessing you plug it into, yeah, this end here, the female end. So wherever you're picking it up from, it needs power. So it actually repeats the signal somewhere halfway down the cable. I believe the spec for this was uh, somewhere around uh, 10 to 15 feet is the maximum USB 3 uh, distance. So this one here will actually take the signal here, send a boosted signal down, and then boost it halfway through, and then it'll make it all the way to the end. Now I'm not sure if the boost, yeah, I guess the boost has to go both ways. So this should be pretty interesting, and I'll show you shortly what this is for. But before that, this comes with a five volt, two amp adapter. So it looks actually fairly high quality. It's pretty small for a um, 10 watt adapter. Here's another one I'm really excited about, which will um, give my channel a little bit more visual interest. It is a USB 2.0, uh, which is also backwards comp compatible with 3.0, digital microscope. So this guy will be nice for looking at tiny components up close. Oh, that's pretty neat. So it looks like you've got a scale there. Actually, fairly rigid platform. Here's the microscope itself with the little LEDs on the inside there. You got your focus ring. Uh, this feels really smooth actually. Uh, you got the light brightness adjustment. Then you've got USB cable. You got a little holster. I'm guessing it fits into these little holes there. Yeah, there we go. And then threading onto the suction cup base. Oh, that's neat. So that means I could probably suction it to my workbench as well as that little scale there. Ooh, and this gooseneck is quite actually heavy. So let's see here. Does this work? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, maybe the burn marks aren't so great in my workbench. So let me take a look at this here. Oh, looks like there's a actually a little spot demarked for just that. And this is me not looking at instructions, by the way. Okay. I'm guessing this guy here will just thread into here. Yep, 
there we go. Oh yeah, this rotates perfect. And then in it goes. There we go. Neat. So I think this one deserves its own video. And unfortunately, in order to make that video, I need to set up all the USB components into my workspace here. That means that I need to get going on that and then I can make a video about this. So let me show you what the problem is. Well, not many people have seen what my workshop looks like. Um, it is a complete mess, although right now it is the cleanest it's ever been. So here is the problem. You see this right there and this right there? That's a 3D printer. That's a Cricut vinyl cutter. I want to make more videos on this and on this, but this requires a USB cable and this is recommended for some functionality. And my computer is all the way over here. So that means that I have no way to get the USB from here to there. So over here, I would like to have some USB connections to charge phones, to charge devices, you know, flashlights and stuff like that. And also to connect whatever I'm doing over here. Now that could be something like a Raspberry Pi, that could be you know, a capture card, whatever. So I need a high speed connection to go from here to here. Now the ideal would be to run it up along the wall here, along the beam there, and then come over here. As you can see already with these cables here that pass around like that, that's my current setup for that little USB hub that I showed you. And that's how I'm live streaming. However, this is cumbersome and this is the maximum maybe the maximum distance you can go with a USB cable. It's about 10 feet. It's a USB 3 Amazon Basics cable. And then those two are two headphone wires. So I need to solve that. With the pluggable stuff, I want to either put it over here and run it down this way. I have this ugly uh, carpet, which I can run the cable underneath. If I just turn the carpet sort of sideways like this and run it to the back of the PC and up in there. Um, or I can put it there kind of at the end and then run the cable up and around and, you know, to the floor around this way. There's a little cubby right behind my coffee mug there that you can't see. I can't access because of these wires. So pluggable was kind enough to send me this stuff um, when I proposed this problem. And I think they deserve the recognition for that. So please go check out pluggable stuff on their Amazon stores. Make sure it's spelled properly. You do want a genuine pluggable product. You don't want something that is similar. You want the actual thing. So that's the problem I'm going to solve in the next little while here. And so there it is, my pluggable haul. Um, make sure you're subscribed to this channel because I will be installing all of this in, uh, in ways where I think is going to be useful. Um, also, I just checked the length on this cable and it looks like I'll be able to do it the way I wanted to run it, which is perfect. And please go into the description, check out the links. They are not even affiliate links. Seriously, just go there, click the links, buy yourself some pluggable products if you're in need of something that'll just work. I feel like I can confidently say that because another maker, if you don't know him, he's a YouTuber that literally makes his living on his computer, uses pluggable products all the time, and he swears by it. So if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me, but I will be doing testing to prove its worth in the future. So make sure you subscribe for that. Thanks for watching.